A girl just finished shower when she heard someone knocking on the door. She thought it was her boyfriend coming, but as a drunken guy, the girl did not want to let him in but was pushed away. He looked at the beautiful girl in front of him, immediately threw three bills on the table. The girl did not know what happened. Then the man dragged her. Jack the boyfriend who bought buns for the girl downstairs. He noticed that something was wrong, immediately ran back, rushed into the room and quickly pulled off the tablecloth, ran for it to strangle the uncle's neck and drag him to the floor. Then he hugged the man who was bullying his Anna so hard, he held him down and told Anna to run. Then he kept hitting him on the head, fearing that the man would come after them. He knocked him out again with a table, the two ran away on the road. Then they went to the police station to report the crime. When the police questioned them, Jack felt that Anna had not recovered yet, so he offered to go outside and give a statement to the police. Anna was left alone in the interrogation room. Before long, a lecherous old man took off the girl's jacket. He said there was blood on it, and he wanted to use it as physical evidence. The girl was helplessly covering her chest, even though she was a bit retarded, but she knew how to protect themselves. Jack in the other room, he told about the man who assaulted Anna. There is a five-pointed star tattoo on his hand. At the same time, the girl also told the police the tattoo on the hand of the man. But neither of them thought. At this moment, the man was staring at the girl. And he was the leader of the police station. He called all the people. He said the girl was a hooker. He even paid an extra 200 yuan. Unexpectedly, the girl joined his boyfriend. Beat him up badly. He told the crowd to look at the boy. Now he was going to do the girl. The old man also followed him with excitement. His expression was full of lewdness. On the other side, Jack X accidentally found a group photo of the police officers, and there was the tattooed uncle on it. Jack suddenly realized that he had in danger. He rushed out of the room, desperately rushed to Anna, but it was still a step too late. Two police officers caught Jack in a deadly grip, dropped one of his hands on the roof of the house. The whole man was beaten into unconsciousness. Even so, he still kept reminding himself that he must live, because only by living to make these scums pay in blood. After the five men took turns to assault the girl, and kept bragging about their process, but they did not think at this time has one foot in hell at that moment link called they then realized that the girl was not a hooker but a student in the nearby school it turns out that when jack took the girl home at night he found anna's house was sealed jack tried to kick the door open the noise alerted link from the opposite door link saw that the two had no home to go back to so she took them in link said she had guests tonight let them stay here tonight without worry while anna was taking a bath jack was worried that would go hungry tonight, so he ran downstairs to buy buns. And after that, then there was the incident happened. A few people at the police station saw that the mistake had been made. They did not stop, cover each other. We suspect that this man is related to a burglary case, so we arrested him. When he was in the police station, he resisted and tried to grab the police gun. The suspect lost control at one point and grabbed my gun. In the confusion, a shot was fired. Jack was sentenced to six months in prison for theft and assault with a firearm. He was sentenced to six months in prison. While in prison, he was preparing for his revenge. He wiped his fingerprints clean. The plan for revenge had been in his mind. Six months later, Jack was successfully released from prison. His short sleeve still had blood stains from the previous attack on the police. Looking at Anna, who was waiting for him on the roadside, she was already pregnant. Jack's brain was buzzing, but seeing the smile on Anna's face, he had to hold back the grief and walked over. And after that, Jack also officially opened the road to revenge. The first target was police officer's team. Jack slowly appeared behind him. He put a plate against his throat. No matter how Chin struggled, Jack did not let go of his hand until he completely lost the ability to struggle. Next was this shameless old man. He noticed that his wife's expression was not right. He backed up quickly, then slowly opened the gun holster. The other side of the police station received a call, but no one spoke inside. It turned out to be Jack. When he was cutting open the old man's pregnant wife, heard the voice of the phone. It was the old man asking the police for help. When the police arrived, was stunned by the scene in front of him. The old man's unborn child had been thrown out. Heard the sound from the bathroom. The crowd rushed, and the girl just finished shower, when she heard someone knocking on the door. At that moment, the old man had been scalded to death by the hot water. Not long after that, the police caught Jack in the mountains. They brought him back to the interrogation room where he'd been six months before. Even though they knew Jack had killed the man, but not the slightest bit of evidence could be found. Right, Jack's fingerprints were long gone. The officers saw that angry use of force. They had to force a confession. They took out a long nail, piercing Jack's ear. Even though the pain was excruciating, 
Jack still kept his mouth shut. I went up to him again and pressed him, but Jack was completely pissed off. This is not the first time I've been wronged by you. The police officers threw out a box of pushpin, picked up Jack and hit him. At the same time, the pregnant girl saw Jack on TV, arrested for opening the belly of a pregnant woman in order to save her boyfriend. The girl burned the photo of them together. Then she dialed the police station's phone number, then went to the bathroom. She came to the bathroom and opened her stomach. While there was still a trace of consciousness, she threw the knife down the drain. Soon the leader came to the police station. Seeing Jack being to a pole, he hurriedly called the two out, said you do have the wrong person. We just received another case of disembowelment. Apparently Jack was not the murderer. So Jack was cleared of suspicion by Anna. Hal rushed to the hospital. He wanted to see if the girl was Anna, but it was still a step too late. By now, the dead Anna had been taken away by Jack. Hal rushed to the car to chase and asked his colleagues to stop him at the intersection. After the colleagues saw the ambulance, he fired several shots at the driver's seat. Ambulance lost control and crashed into a gas station on the side. The officer slowly walked up with his gun. When he just opened the car door, pistol was shot off by Jack. They instantly struggled. The officers used a fuel hose to strangle Jack's neck, but was poured a mouthful of gasoline, not waiting for the officer's reaction. Jack quickly shot. The officer whole body instantly caught fire. He was burned alive. Hal quickly came over. Jack saw the situation and ran away. Hal chased after him. Hal beat him with his baton until Jack had no more room to fight back. Just as Hal was about to strike a fatal blow, Jack picked up the manhole cover on the ground, smashed him to death. Only one of the five men who attacked Anna is left. Jack arrived at a nursing home. A former police chief, after retiring, he became a teacher to train the children of the country. He wasn't surprised to see Jack coming. Even poured Jack a cup of coffee. I've already forgiven you. I also prayed for you. Hearing these words, Jack took out his gun. He shot off the tattoo on his hand. How can you forgive me? And pray for me. Then the second shot and the third shot. He did not have the slightest chance to fight back. At that moment, the students heard the sound of gunfire and came over. But Jack didn't go soft. In front of the kids, he put a gun to his head and ended his life. This is the end of my hatred with you. You don't have to pray for me anymore. But just as Jack was about to leave, a student suddenly jumped on him. He poked a pencil into Jack's neck. Then he bit him hard. All the other students rushed, poking Jack with pencils in their hands. As soon as he was free from the restraints, the first boy picked up the pistol on the ground. A new revenge began. 